All of the signs are pointing towards this big update dropping in Marvel Triforce in just a couple days. And in this video, we're discussing what you should be expecting in this update and what you should not be expecting in this update, guys. And if you're ready to find out about this update and what possible surprises may be included, find that like button and let's go smash it! Alley flying. Woo, hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I hope you're having a great weekend, and I hope you're ready for this big update that is going to be dropping this week, or all the signs are pointing towards it dropping this week. I'd be very surprised if it does not drop in just a couple days. We're going to be discussing its re the release date, its potential release date, uh, the characters, some things that we should be expecting based on previous communication and and what possible surprises may be included in this update guys but before we get into all that i do want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video skillshare yo spring is right around the corner and i can think of no better way to get through these winter blues than by improving yourself and learning something new one of the best places to do that is with Skillshare. And Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of online classes to help you unleash your creativity. It's also a community of like-minded creatives that can help give you the support and encouragement that you need so that you could keep the learning going. And as we check out some of their courses here, you can see they have a bunch of topics to help inspire your creative side. They also have topics to help you build yourself and your business, and they have lifestyle and productivity courses that help you thrive. And I've been using Premiere to edit for a while, but After Effects is where you could do some really cool effects. So this is one of the courses that I'm checking out this month. And if you want to try out Skillshare right now for free, giving you the hookup, the first 1,000 Valley Maniac subscribers that click on the link in the description are gonna get a free trial to Skillshare Premium, guys, yes. It gives you access to all of the courses on the website. So what are you waiting for? Let's go learn something. Yeah, so big shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, guys. And if you want to learn something new this spring, make sure you check out that link in the description and you can get that free trial of Skillshare. But without further ado, let's get into this update and what you could be expecting from it. Boom. All right. So this is the messaging that we got. Let me just switch the camera here. This is the messaging that we got just a few days ago. This dropped on March 9th. So that was last Tuesday. Normally, when we get these in-game messages about an update dropping, normally it's about seven days away. So my prediction, the first clue that we got about this update is that I think it's going to be dropping on the 16th, which is this Tuesday. March 16th uh, is when I think that we should be expecting update 5.2. And what should we expect? Three new playable characters. I think we know all of them, but we're going to be going into a little more detail on all these characters, guys. The strike pass. Not too much was said by about this strike pass. We, we were supposed to get more communication about this, but we're going to go back and take a look at exactly what we know about this strike pass so far. These third anniversary events. And yes, confirmation, guys, they are not going to be dropping Silver Surfer Shards. Got a little confused about that blog post, uh, just some of the messaging in there. So uh, yes, they're not dropping Silver Surfer Shards, guys. This is not his release method, but... It is going to be dropping some cool resources. So we're going to be talking about that new event campaign. Who do you think it could be for? I think Silver Surfer is a little too good for it. But uh, will it be multiple men? Will it be the other character confirmed as Polaris? Uh, we're going to discuss that and some other things that we know about uh, this update from some previous communication and blog posts and whatnot. And um, yes, yeah, some things not in it. And some surprises that may be in it. So let, let's let's get to all these uh, recent blog posts, guys. Boom. First thing we found out was, uh, as far as the characters, was Silver Surfer. We found out about this, uh, him as being released on March 10th. And we found out his kit. He's looking very, very strong. Meta-changing character, guys. As long as you have a hero cosmic character with this character, uh, very strong in all of these, uh, all of these wall of passive text apply if you want to get my full thoughts on silver surfer make sure you check out my previous video but we check out some of his animations this looks to be a very strong character and cool animations as well look at this look at him on his surfboard boom look i think this is gonna be a very fun character and in, in the midst of all the heat scope scope knows how to excite the community again uh i like about this character that he does not have a specific team 
uh, which means that he could be versatile on a lot of different teams and uh, wonder which game mode he's going to be dominant in. Uh, obviously, this looks like a counter to the Black Order, Emma Rod or some other teams, but looking very strong. Now, let's talk about his release method. Uh, I, I got a little confused about... Uh, the blog post the other day and thought thought his release method was in those 30 anniversary events i uh, got confirmation that it's not in those events but uh i think this still on the table for milestone characters although i think the 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 community is sort of shifting towards milestones for raids or something like that as far as rumors but uh i i guess uh, until i hear different i'm, I'm still using facing my prediction as this is going to be a milestone character replacing those uh the big milestones like a emma and symbio spider-man not a mini milestone like in moon knight and some of these red guardian and anti-venom good characters but just not on the level of a emma or a symbio spider -Man. actually anti-venom is pretty good but you know what i mean just not on that level yet all right next character we found out about jamie madrox multiple man coming to marvel strike force and gonna be a member of the x factor team the next member of the x factor team also in his kit we found out about uh enduring his special polaris if polaris is an ally so those are the three members now uh interesting thing we also found out about um this the, i guess the direction that scopely wants to take this team this x factor team with a look at his passive it has some war offense bonuses so uh little confusing where as far as uh where we're gonna use this character because we just got this shadowland team which looks to be very very strong when when uh when some of the playtesting has been done people are calling this x factor 2 point or uh, x force 2 point i get confused i still get confused with those two teams but yeah x force 2.0 very strong war offense team but if x factor is also gonna be a war offense team makes me wonder what what is be going on with war are, are they expanding this we got some uh talk of expanding war in uh in the 2021 blog post that we're going the 2021 roadmap blog post that we're going to take a look at but um yes makes me, makes me very curious what direction they're going when we have so many of these war offense teams also with polaris confirmed in this uh blog post as the third member of the team Makes me wonder who is going to be the fifth member of this team. Now we've we've heard the name Richter mentioned in uh, in the in game. I guess the screenshots where they squish the screens, uh, detailing the some of the background of Shatterstar Richter, and uh, he I guess he was an X Factor member. And could he be the fifth member of this team? Could Havoc be the fifth member of this team, which is a very popular member of uh, the X Factor Angel. I know Angel, I don't think he was in this particular team, but Angel is a founding member of this X Factor team. And this kind of could lead the way to Apocalypse, which I know people have been wanting in this game for a while. I know I've been, as ever since I saw that Empower version of Thanos, I'm thinking, oh, that's how they can introduce Apocalypse to this game. But uh, also, we, we just got notice of Silver Surfer having some cosmic hero synergy. We know the dad bros, the other two members of this X Factor team is the the hero that has that hero cosmic tag. So they have some synergy with uh Silver Surfer. He doesn't need the rest of his characters to have that much synergy with him, but they're gonna have synergy with himself. So is Silver Surfer gonna be the uh de facto fifth member of this team for a little while. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. But let's move forward to the other thing that we know with this update, and that is this thing right here, this strike pass. Now this we we got notice of this in the first half 2021 uh preview back on february 26th talking about the strike pass now most of you already heard uh earning rewards in the mojo's mayhem real-time arena will be using a similar system called the strike pass to gain extra rewards for completing daily objectives including some new additions in most cases this means you'll be getting more rewards including orange gear for the additions you're ready to take or the actions you're already taking in the game this is all good stuff Everybody is getting more rewards. We're getting more rewards for doing other things. I think the controversy comes when uh, if there's something that's, you know, not too expensive, that's a extraordinary value, everybody's going to buy it. And if you want to keep up with everybody else, as far as your, uh, as, as if you're a competitive player, then you're going to be kind of forced to buy this. And that's where kind of people are upset about this. But I guess uh, even if you don't buy it, you're still going to be getting some rewards. So I guess that's good. Uh, the different levels of rewards will be based on your current level in the game. So very curious to see exactly what that entails. For example, the pass for newer players contain a lot of blue, purple with a while, the pass for veteran players, a lot more orange gear. More details will be very revealed closer to release. Well, if this thing is dropping in just a couple days, uh, this is all I know about this so far. So uh, let me let me know about this stuff. 
in the comments but uh we also were looking for some uh raid not the races alliance wars so this is many flavors players favorite game mode we realized this could be spiced up to encourage some new tactics we're currently exploring several options to shake things up a bit we should have more information shared in the near future of these plans were these plans just revealed well we have that war offense shadowlands team and that war offense x factor team uh, I don't know if there's going to be any changes coming in this update, but let me know if you think their plans were revealed with this team, guys. Uh, this new just back-to-back -back war offense teams kind of being pushed on us. We want to re revisit the war room bonuses, exploring additional attacks and additional defense squads per room. So uh, that that looks to be coming, and then maybe that's the direction of uh, this that we're needing this stuff for. All right, third anniversary events also mentioned in the blog post and. Uh, that were mentioned here and yes save your war credits guys for these your elites and your normal war credits because very very important is it's yes you're gonna want to do this event now uh we're gonna get these uh solar galactic and celestial orbs you're gonna earn character shards uh gear gold training modules other resources all good stuff uh the controversy came here with this thing right here war credits elite war credits uh you're gonna have to buy spending these so if you've been hoarding these like they told us that we didn't need to be hoarding stuff anymore uh then good for you but if you were spending all that stuff like i was then oh well maybe maybe not being able to hit as many milestones in this event we'll see exactly how much this stuff is worth though but oh i just anyway anyway i hope we, i hope we have some good rewards I, I they're getting some gold promotion credits in some of these uh yeah, rewards as well as the anniversary logins for this so uh this this looks like to be some good stuff i just uh wish wish it wasn't a hoarding war war credit event is the only thing about that all right we also got some changes to real-time arena coming uh not that we are going to talk about that now these changes uh these for season four went live already uh, i'm glad that uh, once season three ended we went right into season four i think there's always been a little bit of a gap so i'm glad this season but I'm not sure if it's better. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Uh, I, I think on paper it sounded better and it seems like it's going the right direction. But uh, I guess I, I'm not sure if it's better. For, focus more on knockouts, which is good. Reduce some of these weekly objectives. I think that is good. Uh, but banning, I think I think the more bans. But I think one thing they missed was that astonishing X for X-Men ban. That X-Men ban. But maybe they did it on purpose because that's a new team that they want to push. Um, so yes, uh, yes, that is live right now, but let's talk about this, this quitting penalty, because they said this was going to be coming in a future update. Now, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, Scopely realizes that this quitting penalty in real time arena was not the issue. The issue was the quitting penalty in relation to the time, not the actual reward. So, uh, the inversion of 5.1, they made a change to allow the AI to continue a match. If an opponent quits, this was in response to players quitting a match before the and it, uh, it was completed, causing frustrations in the opponent's exist experience. We tried to further this discourage this by quit quitting, by making it bad, bad players that quit don't get progress towards objectives. We since heard your feedback that there are very valid reasons to quit a match that felt too punishing. Actually, it's not, it's not actually the rewards, it's the time. So I, I am very curious to see if in update 5.2, they revert this and we don't have that time penalty. Plan to address this in an upcoming update to allow players to quit to keep their progress from match. Now they didn't say 5.2 specifically, but I'm hoping it is 5.2 because this is very distracting. Not really the rewards, but the time. So that if uh, we get a bad match, we quit, we could go right into a new match and have to wait. Uh, the AI because uh, the, I, the AI is going to continue to play. So what? Why? Why is there even a penalty? I don't know. I don't know at this point. All right, some changes that we should not expect is some skill military changes. This was uh, supposed to be happening in 5.3. So all those awesome uh, skill military chief wars that you put into those characters, uh, I guess it's still going to be wasted in 5.2. So uh, just put them on hold in case you're thinking of investing in them. Uh, we got notice of a lot of bugs being fixed. This Thor hammer, uh, it looks like they have a fix that they're confident in. They didn't say that it will be fixed, but uh, they 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 have a they have a feeling that it's uh, confidently fixed, and they continue to monitor the situation. Uh, the buffs not expiring. This is a big one for war, so that should be fixed in 5.2 when uh, when you had that healing buff and you would go in, and then the buffs would not remove, so they just keep healing, taking a character from like one sliver of red health all the way back up to full health in one turn. Uh, and it, I don't know if you've experienced that, but it, it makes it hard to kill. 
character in war this this bug in arena that's been going on this uh this cheating bug that's been going on uh looks like it's finally gonna be fixed in 5.2 i hope it is it's been going on for way too long and finally after i don't know how many updates i think this broke in 5.0 the black point panther passive is finally gonna get uh addressed as well one thing that also is going to be fixed finally is this relic hunt event well not finally but i was expecting it a lot sooner guys uh Yes, this this it, it did not go live this couple days ago in this past Relic Hunter, but in this subsequent uh, Relic Hunt that comes in 5.2, this will be fixed and we'll be getting uh, more rewards in this Relic Hunter. Now, surprises. Let's talk about the surprises because every update, there's surprises that nobody knows about. If we go just do this uh, last release that we got, yeah, let's go through these bullet points right here. We got four new playbook characters. We knew about that. Real-time arena improvements. They they turn out to not be improvements. I thought they would be improvements. They turn out not to be. Uh, we didn't know how bad they were, but yeah. It's, that, uh, I guess we didn't know the effect, but we knew it was happening. Dark Dimension updates. A nice quality of life update that we did not know about. Switching alliances and alliance management. Uh, we did not know about that as well. Indicator tabs or indicators in real-time arena. Celestial squad. We did not know about that as well. Pimtech team for the legendary Jubilee event. We did know about that. And then the White Tiger event for the Infiltrator. we needing that for the Shadowland event. I guess we didn't know about the specific event timing, but we knew that one of these characters would have an event released. Uh, some big, one of the big things that we did not know about, though, uh, leading up to this, and this is pretty big because before this, this Axeman did not have a buff clear. Uh, this was a pretty big change to this Axeman team that nobody knew or uh, nobody really thought was happening. The... Um, the, the, none of the Envoy videos, none of the Envoy releases had this stuff, but this is a pretty big surprise and a big, pretty big change to that Axeman and is allowing to be as dominant as they are right now in, uh, in the raids. So, uh, yes, what surprises do you think are going to be happening in this update, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That is all I have for you today, though. So, uh, yes, I hope this is a good update. Uh, and what bugs, what bugs? We know there's going to be some bugs in this update. What bugs do you think they're going to have in this update, guys? Let me know your thoughts, and hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Mailbag video tomorrow, and hopefully you can stop by the Valley Club in the morning on Twitch, guys. Check me out on social media before you go, and give me that Hulk fist bump. Oh, yeah, baby. Valley flying out.